guys, what's up? My name is Jaco and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it is going to be a book talk on a series that I just finished. It's a pretty popular series that took me quite a while to actually read. It's took me three years, three years to read this series. What series is it? It is Percy Jackson and the Olympians by Rick Riordan. I have a complicated relationship with this series, so let me go back. I actually watched the movie first. I know. I actually really enjoyed the movie. I know a lot of the fans hate it, and I get it now. I truly do. But at the time, I never read it because this was a middle grade series, so I wasn't big a reader as a child like I wish I was. I wasn't, I actually remember actually um, renting The Lightning Thief back in like fifth, fourth grade maybe. Um, I remember the cover, you know, it was a hard cover. I just remember being, ooh, I like the cover. What is this? Didn't read it. I think I read the first chapter, never picked it up again, then returned it to the library. Yeah. So there was that. <laughs> and then come when I come to booktube, Everyone loves Rick Riordan's books. You know, there's a lot of them, so everyone's loving them. So I'm like, you know what? Let me get on this bandwagon and finally read the series. So I bought me the box set with all the books in them. I was like, yes, I'm going to read them. I'm going to love them. I read the first one. I'm like, oh, wow, they changed everything in the movie. They, they changed it all. Now I understand why everyone hates it. Then I read Sea of Monsters, which I really enjoyed. I was like, oh my god, why didn't they keep this? And then I've read The Titan's Curse. I was like, yes, got three books, only two more to go. I read halfway through this, and I quit. I, I quit. And that was like my junior year of high school, I quit. <laughs> and I'm 20 now, so yeah, it took me a while. But I had to reread these three to remember what happened. So, okay, so if you don't know what Percy Jackson and the Olympians are, where have you been? If you don't know, it, it, this series follows a kid named Percy Jackson who is 12 year old at the beginning of our story and he finds out that he is a demigod. A demigod is half human, half god. Um, and he is the son of Poseidon, one of the big main three gods. This has um what's it called greek mythology mythology i can't pronounce words i'm sorry i'm trying um so we meet percy who is 12 years old he has a single mother and he's been kicked out of almost every school he's been in and then we start at the beginning of the summer percy's leaving school and he is attacked and this is when he finds out that he is special, he's a demigod, you know, he has dyslexia, HGHG, but it turns out that's all because of his blood, and because of his blood, he is bait for monsters. Monsters can smell demigods, and they want to eat them, destroy them, etc. Um, Percy, obviously, at the beginning, does not believe this. He's like, you got the wrong kid, yeah, 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 and I'm like, oh, Percy. And we meet Grover, who is a satyr, who is his protector slash best friend, which is really sweet. And then we have Annabeth, the daughter of... F I'm sorry, I'm forgetting. Her mother's a god of wisdom. Athena? Athena. That's Athena. And obviously there's a little romance there brewing. But we also get to see a bunch of other gods, goddesses, and their children. I really like that. It makes me want to learn more about Greek mythology, which I'm really enjoying just from reading this. I've read, I listened to all these on Audible, which was great. I love the narrator, narrative, narrative, narrator. So that was book one, and let's get into book two. Okay, book two is Sea of Monsters, and this one might be my favorite, just because I love the relationship between Percy and his brother Tyson who's a cyclops so this book actually made me cry just because of their relationship because this Percy has a baby brother who is a cyclops and he's like yay I have a brother daddy sent me a brother to protect me I'm like oh my god yes 
And if they would have kept this in the movie, why didn't you? I'm not even gonna get started. Not, nope, nope, not gonna get me to rant. Nope, I'm already ranting. Um, but yeah, so he finds out he has a half brother, and they all have to travel to the Sea of Monsters to stop Luke, who is the son of. Um, I'm sorry, I'm like blanking on these gods' names. Um, Hermes. The dude that, you know, flies, delivers the packages. Um, his son Luke but turns out to be the bad guy and he's trying to wake up Thanos. Than no, not Thanos, I'm sorry, that's the Avengers. Blah, 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 blah. Um, Kronos. Kronos. Yeah. So there's that. Um, I just love the relationship between Tyson and Percy. It's so good. And I feel like it's underrated, really, because I never hear anyone talking about that relationship. Next, we have the Titan's Curse. Um, this one, a little too much drama for me, I guess. Um, but we have Percy's kind of cousin, which is Zeus's daughter. Um, guys, I suck at names if you haven't noticed from this video. Book three was... I guess Percy not being the only one born of the big three kind of I don't know I like when Percy's center of attention I know I shouldn't but I do I, I don't know I just do okay guys don't judge me please next we have the battle of the life then now this is the book where I stopped reading I don't know what it was but I just stopped I think I got in the first 50 pages of it and I just off and I never picked it up for two years no three two three years um let's see so obviously they go into a maze that's I'm gonna be honest don't remember exactly what happened in this book I was just really listening through them trying to get I'm, I marathon them guys I really truly did next one is the last Olympian now this is the final fifth book in the series the conclusion um they're all at war they're trying not to get um chronos to rise they're trying to defeat him the demigods from camp half-blood are going into battle into a war they lose people which is sad you know they've lost a handful of demigods um and then percy um being percy got the opportunity to be a god but he turned it down because he couldn't leave his friends, he couldn't leave Annabeth or his mother. Um, but he decided to have all demigod children recognized in the gods. What does that mean? Well, gods have to claim all their children. But time by the time they're 13, claim every single child, um, even for the minor gods. Which I didn't even know it was a thing until I read this. Now I want to know. Where are all the other gods that we didn't know about? Like, I know I didn't. So this series was really good. And I'm finally, finally glad I read all these. Because I didn't know what I was missing. And now I'm going to go start the last Olympian series. Or the last heroes. The last Olympians, I think it's called. I just started listening to it. So I'm still... But yeah, that is my somewhat review, I guess. More like a rant of why I love this series now. Um, of Percy Jackson and the Olympian. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it, to subscribe it, okay? Until next time, I'm Jacqueline, and this is my city of books that's growing every single day. Bye!